Hi, in the last video I showed you how to set up a arpeggiator object within Logic Pro's environment to create interesting uh, rhythmic patterns. Um, so we'll just play this again. This is what I have so far. And I can change this resolution in real time. Now, uh, one thing that's kind of lacking is these uh, notes are all continuous. I'm not hearing any rests. So if if I want to add a rest, I can just add another note, but somewhere below C0, where there isn't any sound. So this way, it'll trigger a blank sound, so that'll act like a rest. I can add a few more if I want to add more rests. So let's hear what this sounds like. So we have rests in there. Of course I can delete these or add a few more if I want more rests in the pattern. Um, now I like the idea of changing this resolution but not using this drop down menu. So we can actually set up like switches to switch between specific resolutions that we want. To do that, uh, I'm going to click on new fader and choose a button. Now I'm going to drag this button down here and connect this button to the arpeggiator. Now we need to change a few settings in the arpeggiator. Uh, first of all, a controller base. It's set to off right now. I need to set this to the very first value, which is zero. So now it's uh, this arpeggiator can be controlled by any external device. So um, how, how do I know what I'm controlling? Um, under the fader, I can see I have an output, which is set to control. I can choose that to anything else, fader, metadata, uh, channel pressure, system X, but I need to set it to control. And I can choose which channel, I can choose which particular CC value. I can set the input, but for this fader, we don't want anything to be input to it. We just need to output something. So we can ignore the input right now. And we can set a range, so what value will be triggered every time you hit this fader, or this button for that matter. Um, now, to know what I want to change, when you set this to controller base 0, what that does is it sets up all of these parameters uh, and sequentially to CC values, continuous controller values. So the very first one will be CC1, direction will be CC1, velocity CC2, key limit CC3, so on and so forth. So resolution would be CC1, 2, 3, 4. So if I want to access or fiddle with resolution, I need to go to my fader and choose CC4. Now, the value, to set up the value. If we go back to the arpeggiator, click on resolution, you'll see there's a whole bunch of them. Now, they kind of act like uh, MIDI v uh, CC values, so they start from um, 0 all the way up to 127. So. I want to access 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to access a quarter note. So if I go back to fader and I set this channel 1, 4, and the range to 5, space 5. That means it'll always spit out 5, you know, uh, when you hit the button. Now this arpeggiator should receive that value every time I hit the button. So let's see if that works. Now if you notice the resolution changed to a quarter note. It was at 8, but as soon as I hit this button, it goes to a quarter. So that works, and like that I can set up a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to just do a few more as an example. Go to button again. Uh, oops. Drag this down. Again, I can connect it to the same arpeggiator object. Choose channel, uh, leave channel one, choose CC number four, and range, I wanna use an eighth note. So if this was five, six, seven, eight, 
this is so I need C value 8 so 8 space 8 so this is gonna spit out 8 every time I hit the button of course I can rename these otherwise it'll get kinda messy that's an eighth note resolution and this is a quarter note resolution I'm just gonna do one more button drag this down connect it to the arpeggiator change the name to I'm gonna set up a sixteenth note so I'll just name it sixteenth and again CC number four range I'm not sure what it is so let's set, uh, I forgot let's go back here mm. quarter note is five eight is eight so eight nine ten eleven so this should be eleven range eleven and I think that should work now so let's see if it works I have too many rests so I'm just going to delete one of these just have one note acting as a rest try that again so just keep an eye on the resolution drop down menu here as I click on these switches and it works hope that helps thank you for watching